um, I was coming in here to do a little bit of cleaning and I noticed some piles of bees, which you can kind of see here um, on, the, on the windows. And I thought, oh, well, that's strange. You know, the bees must be flying in from the outside and thinking there are some, poly, you know, some flowers or something in here. So I shut up the windows and I came back the next day and there were more bees. <laughs> um, and so it turns out that um, as we were doing the renovation of this room, the, the bees kind of found ways to, to come in here. And they're actually, the hive is located right up in this corner right here. It's about eight, eight to 10 feet long. Uh, that was uh, shocking. The first thing we did was Google giant beehives and we're um, a little bit terrified of the otherworldly pictures. Um, and then when we discovered that it was eight plus feet long, uh, that was bigger than any of the pictures that you could even find on Google Images. So we thought we had something pretty unique and special once we discovered that. And then it turns out that a lot of the, the longer tenured members of the church have all have memories basically as far back as anyone can remember of there being a beehive in the attic of the church. So um, that's been, was very surprising for us. And this day and age, it's, it's, no, it's not new news for people to know that bees are struggling, honeybees, their, their whole population is on the decline. So uh, it's something that's important for us to do our best to not hurt that and hopefully be able to um, be able to contribute to the preservation of the honeybee species. So we decided to explore some sort of um, uh, extraction process and, and also hope to, to preserve the lives of as many of them as possible. We thought that this not only as an unexpected expense uh, would be difficult for us, but we, thought, we saw it as an opportunity to involve the community, to involve other groups that use the building, which are a lot of other groups. Um, and that's really how that idea came about. So Kathy Compton, our other office administrator and director of our School of Fine Arts, had the idea to start an online fundraising campaign with the GoFundMe website. And we sent that information out through social media, um, sent it out to the email lists of other larger groups that use the building, and it definitely took off. Um, and I think it's just a fun, exciting way to take part in, in you know, the happenings here in this community in downtown Boulder.